Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a festive New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and I thought I would play this up by adding some glitter so I hope you guys enjoy and if you do decide to keep watching to learn how to get this look, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. So the first thing we're going to do is prime our eyelids because you always want to prime to make sure your eyeshadows go nowhere and I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And for today's eyeshadows I'm going to be working with the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm using that creamy white color and placing this all over our lids and then I'm taking that colored nectar and putting this as our transition shade with a big fluffy brush and I'm just buffing this in from inner corner all the way to outer corner. That way it's really seamless and this is going to be our transition color like I said. And then I'm going in with that light brown color just to deepen up and diffuse the um, the transition shade but also to give more definition to the eyes. As a base color I'm going to be using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean. And I'm just using this as a base that way when we apply the darker black color it's a lot more black than looking gray. So I went ahead and did that and then I'm putting that dark black color from the Lorac Pro 2 on top of that and then I'm blending it out. Just keep in mind that you do have to take your time with blacks because they can be kind of tricky to blend out. But as long as you keep going back and forth and then adding more color and then blending it back out, you should be just fine. Then going in with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm placing this on top of that black color. And then after that I'm taking the NYX Roll On Glitter. I forgot what the name of this one is called. But I'm just placing it on my finger and then tapping it onto my eyelid. And I found that this technique was a lot better than putting it onto a brush because it just melts in the product. And it also brings out the sparkle a little bit more than a brush would. And then um, when I was done doing that, I decided to just use the roll-on and just pack it on. That way it could be a lot more pigmented and super, super glittery. Then going back in with that light brown color, I'm just going to blend out that glitter and all those other colors together with that color. And then I'm taking a baby wipe or a makeup remover, whatever you have. And I'm just cleaning off all the glitter and all the extra fallout that we had under our eyes. Then going back in with that white color, I'm going to take this on a shading brush and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. I really like a matte brow bone highlight when we're doing all shimmers or any shimmer look. And then I'm going to apply my um, Benefit Professional all over my face and then I'm taking my Double Wear Maximum Coverage by Estee Lauder and I've been loving this stuff. I recently got it um, from work and I've been trying it out and I really have been loving the way it looks on the skin. I actually like it a little bit better than the Double Wear Foundation from Estee Lauder so if you haven't tried this I highly highly recommend it and I'm using that to um, the Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend out my foundation. Then for concealer, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and NW15, I believe. And I'm just applying this under my eyes as a triangle shape motion just to really highlight and brighten the under eye area. And then I'm using the other side of the Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend out my concealer. For mascaras, I'm using my two L'Oreal Telescopics. I absolutely love this mascara. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you probably already know that. But I'm just applying this to the tops of my lashes on the top. And then I'm going to do the same to the bottom in just a second. And then after that, I'm using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, which I literally have been obsessed with. If you have problems with pores, definitely try this powder out. It makes your skin look flawless and I love it. As you can see, I've already hit pan and I definitely need another one. I'm using this to set my under eye concealer and the rest of my face. I'm going back to the eyes and I'm using that light brown color just to smoke out our lower lash line. I really wanted this to be smoky and not so much on the top and then not enough on the bottom so I decided to take that light brown color and put it on the bottom and then add a little bit of mascara on the bottom as well. This step is completely optional if you want to be more glam and festive. I decided to take the Urban Decay glitter liner. I forgot what the name of this one's called but I'm just using this right where my tear duct is and then I'm using my Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in the color, I forgot the color as well, but I'm just using this to line my lower lash line. On to my favorite part of makeup. I don't know why but 
bronzing and contouring has quickly become one of my favorite things to do. So I'm taking the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the color Light Medium and I'm just taking a big powder brush and just dusting this on my temples, cheekbones, and my jawline just to bronze up the skin and give me more dimension and color. And then after that I'm taking the Hoola by Benefit absolutely love that stuff and I'm taking a real techniques contour brush and just sculpting out my cheeks just to look more defined and especially if you're going to be taking pictures I highly recommend doing this step because you will give your face so much more dimension instead of looking flat and then after that I'm taking my rockateur blush I've been loving this recently a lot I've been using it almost every single day but this is rockateur by benefit and I'm just applying that right on top of my bronzer for lipstick, I'm taking this Too Faced lipstick. I think it, this was part of their holiday collection, but this is in the color Shimmering Dolly. I absolutely love this lipstick. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Follow me on all my social medias linked down below. This will be my last video of 2015. 14 and the next time i see you guys it will be 2015 so i wish you guys all happy new years and thank you for all the amazing support i've gotten this year and i'm excited for all the future videos to come in 2015 bye